quit and uh, they look forward to this fight a lot more. And it's going to be, uh, it's definitely going to be one to remember. How many things have you had to tweak from that first experience that are going to play into this rematch to give you the win? Um, how, how many things do I need to tweak? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. I thought you said tweet. I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not big on Twitter anymore, but, uh, yeah, no, uh, you know, a lot of the, th- a lot of the positions I did win, uh, I definitely need to tweak those, um, and in uh, a lot of the positions I didn't win as well, you know, normally I, I just say, concentrate on the areas where I didn't win and correct those, but I really want to, uh, to drill in a lot of the areas where uh, I did really well against him. He's, he's a very, I mean, you saw him against the champion. Uh, I don't think uh, he did land a head kick, but he's a proficient, really good uh, kicker. He's a really good kicker and uh, preparing for that fight we uh we drilled a lot of kicks and uh stopping his kicks just uh making sure we had good counters uh on deck ready to go and uh, that's going to be one of the things i i make sure i'm ready for uh his high kick uh man i I think he just kind of caught the champion out of well brian bader out of position but either way got got to prepare for that too danny segura phil um you kind of just mentioned it there but uh, how, how what, what what do you think are the differences here entering this fight? You you just said that you know his stock rose. Um, did you see Vadim as, as someone that was going to become champion? Do you think he was uh, he was on his trajectory to, to become champ? Listen, I, I've already been through this. I'm not going to talk about game stock. Okay, don't make me talk about tendies or stocks. Now, um, no, go ahead, say that again. Did did you think he was going to go on and become champion, Vadim Nemkov? Uh, I honestly, I honestly did because, uh, I mean, I've, well, I fought both of them and, uh, I can kind of see where, uh, one has holes and the other has, uh, strengths and weaknesses and kind of play them out in my head who will win. Um, but I did not expect it to go down like that. That is for sure. That was a complete surprise. Um, but I did have him, have him win the fight. Um, you know, styles make, uh, make matchups, man. And, uh, he is, he is a good, fun style. And, yeah, and uh, just that, that's what I look forward to. Go ahead, though. For sure. No. Uh, did you have anything else to say? Sorry to cut you off there. No, 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 no. And on your same bracket, we have a, a super interesting fight between Anthony Johnson and Joel Romero. So obviously, if, if you uh, are victorious against Vadim Nemkov, you'll be facing the winner. Um, mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on that fight? It seems a lot of fans are excited for it. And also any prediction on that matchup? I, I mean... Not really. I, I haven't even gotten that far. But the, winning that, winning the, the the Nimkov fight is as far as I've gotten. Anything beyond that, cool. I'm winning about winning my first belt. There's there's another belt if you win the tournament, cool. I'll be happy then too. The first belt's the one that matters. But since you asked, I honestly think it's probably a. That's a 50 50 toss up, man. That's a 50 50 toss up. Over um, eh, who lands first? Who who's gonna who's gonna land first? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Who's gonna land first? That's a that's a tough one. All right, we'll move on to Darnell Preval. Hey Phil, how you doing? Uh, is this well. the Phil? Da- is this the Phil Davis revenge tour? Because you got a couple guys in there that you know you suffered some defeats to. You're looking at that belt to your left. Does that motivate you? Say, say it one more time, just a little bit louder. Is this the Phil Davis uh, re- revenge tour since you have a couple guys that have defeated you in the past? Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, if you want to put it out there, I wouldn't, I'm not going to deny it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, um, the, you know, definitely there's, there's uh, definitely, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess. Four rematches potentially. Um, yeah, no, definitely. Um, this this is. Uh, I mean, I, I I never look at it as such, but why not? Stephen Morocco. Hey, Phil. Like I wanted to follow up on that last question. Um, the rematch, the potential rematch with Anthony Johnson, seems pretty significant to me. When yeah. you fought uh, him in the UFC, that was a title eliminator. You talked a whole bunch of smack. Uh, at John Jones that week, uh, very iconic 
uh, pre-fight interview and that one didn't go your way. Mm -hmm. Um, What do you think about Anthony fighting Anthony now, potentially fighting Anthony now, what kind of fight that would be and, and what that would mean to avenge that? Um, You know, it's always good to get one back. It's always good to get one back. Um, That, that in of itself makes it a special fight for me, but um, yeah, the first fight, I mean, uh, I, I want to say that's where I stopped being as green and started being a little bit more of a veteran fighter um, right around then. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking looking forward to getting getting back in the ring or cage with him. And, uh, you know, it, I have no idea how he's matured over the years as a, as a fighter. So I'm interested to see how that goes. Thanks. All right, we'll take two more questions. Jay Anderson, followed by Donna Corby. Hey, thanks very much, Phil. So about GameStop. Mm-hmm. And I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not serious on that. Uh, what, I did, what I did want to ask you, though, I mean, uh, you actually won the uh, last light heavyweight Grand Prix in 2015, albeit the one-night variety, but does that give you a confidence boost going into this? Uh, you know, different format, <laughs> very different fighters. Um. You know, I have, you know, I don't draw confidence from things like that. I don't have any superstitions, you know, that I would say, oh, you know, I haven't lost a Mohegan or anything like that. It, it's, I only gain confidence by doing the work in the gym and, and knowing how much hard work I've put in through this pandemic and, and, and over, over the years, um, improving on any uh, blind spots I have and looking for new ones. But uh, now about GameStop, if that's what you're asking, Somebody got to go to jail. That's his, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Or put him in the ring. That's all I'm gonna say. Put him in the ring or put him in jail. <laughs> Dana Corby, Phil, I actually did want to ask you about GameStop. I <laughs> lost quite a bit on AMC myself, so I know I, I'm down big. Uh, are you up big from the GameStop and AMC thing, or or are you mad at Robin Hood because you in fact lost uh, almost as much as I did? Well, I should be up a lot more. I will tell you that they got to go to jail. Okay. These turkeys, yeah. they owe me money. And I would love to see one of those cats, who, 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 Melvin Capital Cats, whoever they are, whoever it is. Or, or maybe it's the, the Vladimir guy from Robin Hood, whoever it is, whoever it is, put them in that ring with me. Put me in the ring with them. Um, you know, whatever. But I, I came out all right, but not as all right as I should have been. Maybe on one of those Dave Portnoy rough and rowdy shows, you could fight. Uh, you could fight your man. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, with that, we'll wrap it up. Thank you, Phil. We will be joined here shortly by Yoel Romero.